Good morning, Cherub. Good morning, Hushai. Hello and welcome to my little corner of the world I call home. In today's video, I'm going to be styling some of my favorite fall 2023 trends for you in a get ready with me style lookbook. Unfortunately, my mic was not working, so I am doing voiceover. Starting off with leather on leather. I love this trend because it is such an easy way to just gather a few of your favorite pieces and make them look bold by grouping them together. I started off with leather shorts, a leather vest, which this could work for early fall if it's still too warm, but I added a layer of a leather blazer. And of course, leather boots, point toe or platform, you let me know which one you think is best, but I went with platform. I ended up putting up my hair to really showcase the full leather look. And of course, finished off with a leather bag and some black sunnies for that full matrix vibe. Next, I'm styling the soccer aesthetic, which obviously can really lean casual, so I wanted to dress it up a little bit. And I started off with one of two jerseys. I love the Mexico because obviously, gotta rip my people. Because it is a little bit more of a slim fit jersey, I just leaned into it, tied it up in the back, added some cargo pants, pointo heels, put my hair in cute little braids, and it was a done deal. Next trend we're styling is the dress over pants, which I was really nervous about, but I ended up actually being obsessed with it. And I started with this black halter dress. I think we've all seen a dress very similar. It's a little sheer, ruffles, asymmetrical. And then I went with a boot cut, some silver heels and silver accessories. Next trend we're styling is red all over. I can attribute this to Taylor. I think Taylor has got us all obsessed with red. I started off with a red turtleneck and I also have these matching red leather pants. They're a little bit off, but not enough to make me not love it. Red point toe heels, basically pulling one of each trend. Next trend we're styling is the long shorts. I actually don't have any, so I went into my husband's closet and stole a pair of his. Ideally, I would go for a dark denim blue pair, but this is what I had to work with. And another one that I was kind of nervous for. I started going in one direction. I was like, okay, I have to go for a micro super hot top to balance out the really masculine pant, which ended up not even looking super cute. I tried it with these brown point toe boots that I got from Gently. I also got a very similar brown leather jacket from Gently and I wasn't feeling it so I was like okay let's switch it up. I ended up going with this tank top from Ego and it was perfect. Instantly started feeling myself. Threw it back on the same jacket and the boots and I was feeling it. Safe to say. Next trend I'm styling is suiting, which is actually something I incorporate in my daily wardrobe. 
a lot, which is actually funny. I had a hard time styling this. I was overthinking it. I was trying to make it different than what I normally do. So I started off with this bold cobalt blue blazer and I threw on the matching pants and matching heels, but it was feeling a little too cohesive. So I switched out the pants. I threw on a beret, a black leather tie, and some edgy belts to add some texture. And I feel like this one's kind of funky, but I love it. And last but not least, we are styling back to the basics and I, at my heart, am a basic bitch. I don't care if that is a diss to some people. To me, it is a phrase to be embraced. And obviously we had to start with our fugs, got them off Amazon, some slouchy Levi jeans, a basic tank top, and then I just zhuzhed it up a little by draping a sweater over my shoulders. It is still too hot to actually put the sweater on, some glasses, a big tote, and you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, listen to the podcast, and shop Let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me next. I love you, and I will see you next time. Bye.